I think that should be shown a lot of love because we know people, many artists in this game, who became someone they weren't mm -hmm. in this rap shit and it it, it, it it ate them up from the inside. Mm -hmm. And they didn't love themselves anymore. And we watched them deteriorate. And Cole was like, nah, bro. I'm going to protect my shit. I'm going to protect myself. And I hope that y'all still show me love. Cole said that was him ten, 10 years earlier. Like, he literally said that's who he was. And he had to do some self-assessing. And was like, nah, that's that's not who I want to be. And we got to show that, that respect. No, no, no. That that That's a bookmark. That That's that, that's a big But thing. the question was, oh my God. is you like that? And clearly, you're not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit up straight today. Ah, rap Life Review, baby. So important this week that we've actually asked Eddie to come on from Los Angeles. Uh, we have Lo and we have Nadeska because we need to holistically approach what has taken place. Fuck that. <laughs> Holistic doesn't mean necessarily peaceful. It just means a macro view. Okay. The totality. All right, all right, all right. Man, all right. the words you're using are already stressing yeah, me out. Like, let's bro, just get like, into let's the get show. Y'all like, gotta calm down, man. When she start cursing, I know it's gonna be a nah, good show. Yo, Nadeska's foot's twitching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Low ready to go. Eddie jumping around. Yo, Low went to the doctor to get his blood pressure checked this morning. Oh, I didn't get my so eyes shit checked, is. man. Yeah, sure, like, whatever you say. So, do you guys want to skip over... Yes. No, no, we gotta acknowledge. Doja Cat put out a deluxe album that's got seven more tracks. It's fire. It's doing well. She Beautiful. got ASAP Rocky on the track, which nice. is fire, okay? Nice. Uh, Lil Wayne, uh, Wheezy, and Young Thug dropped a single. Lil Wayne was just at WrestleMania, too, which was Lil Shout Mo. Shout we got to big that up. Shout to Wale, man. Shout to Wale. And, and, uh, Kat, and my man Kaz that yeah, put that together. Yeah, everybody Shout out there that. at the WWE. Yeah. Shout to my man uh, Rosenberg, too. Yes. Uh, have you guys had a chance to listen to Lil Yachty's Concrete Boys no. project at all? No, I haven't. Okay, I, I did. I did skim through it. How, how you feel about um, it? There's definitely some good things, interesting things. I like the experimentation of things that they're trying. So I'm gonna go back to it. Okay. I didn't get a chance to like live with it yet, but it's okay. called "It's Us Volume One: Concrete Boys." And Lil Yachty got Concrete Records, I think it's called, which is his new label. Nice. So there's that. Uh, Glorilla. Mixed up. Anybody spend time with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's fire. Dang, everything, dang. everything. Yeah, dang, I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. She's, 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 y'all got a clip for y'all. And you sat with Glorilla. Sat with her right before the tape drop. Um, yeah, we'll run that. It's a dope project. She's having a lot of fun we on it. Right now. Yeah, Should yeah. we run it right now? Yeah, she basically right said, now. I feel like obviously she had like a huge hit out the gate. Mm -hmm. And now the next step for her is dropping the album. But she said she was recording the album and just not having fun, just feeling kind of too much pressure, too much in her head. Mm -hmm. So she went to Gotti and said she wanted to drop a tape instead. So uh, here she is talking about working with Megan The Stallion. She Fine. said this came together super organically. Check this out. So tell me about recording this track with Meg. It was cool. We uh, I went to one of her parties uh, in February and we ended up exchanging numbers and we went to the studio like shortly right after that and we were just vibing, you know what I'm saying? And we laid the tracks. She actually, when I'm in the studio, I actually take all day to record a song, but she helped me out because she was going so fast. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, she made me feel like, okay, she in there killing it. I got to go kill it, too. So I was like, she went and recorded her verse so fast. I'm like, damn, shit, fuck. <laughs> and so it got me together, though. So I went and recorded my verse right after her. And then, like, it was just such of a good song. We loved it. We sat there and rearranged it the way we wanted to because she laid her verse first, then I laid mine. Then we made the chorus together. Mm. And, yeah, this is how it came about. I've been excited. I've been listening to that song nonstop ever since we made it. Uh, now, speaking of beef, which we'll get to Cole, Kendrick, Drake, mm -hmm. but JT and Glorilla started going at it. Eddie, what, what's, the, what's the story here? Do you know much about it? So from, what I, from my understanding, I had to, like, watch a TikTok video on it just to kind of catch up. Right. So I forgot the name of the song, but Glorilla has, like, some inspirational song on, on the album, and she, she says I, JT's name. There you go. And she basically said they're not the best of friends in the verse. And it was on some like, hey, women unity thing. But JT didn't like that. And this stems all the way back, I think, to the BET Awards where there was speculation that they got into like a little, little kerfuffle. Apparently you know what I'm the 2023 MTV VMAs. That's okay. what it was. Oh, VMAs. Uh, OK. It yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. A, it was a physical scuffle. So Alleged. There's, there's, there's different things. Like it, it could have been a punch. It could have been like someone threw a purse at somebody. Right. But basically them two don't like each other. So then JT gets on Twitter 
And it was like, look, man, stop alluding to me. Uh-huh. We ain't all good in a different kind of words. And then them guys go back and forth. I'm going to be honest with you. They was both kind of funny. Like they, 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 no, both, they got their shit off. I no, saw the tweets. Yeah, I saw the tweets. Yeah, they, they was. So, yeah, hip-hop, beef, it ain't just dudes, man. Everybody's beefing right now. Now, did either of the two women get on stage recently and apologize for their tweets? Yo, That's how we're going to open wait, this segment. Wait, wait, you better wait. stop playing. Hold on, you better stop playing. Hold on. Stop playing. Hold on. I just want to know. Not no, you trying to fake ease us in for like 15 no, minutes on. to then just try to like yeah, get no. a slick one hold in on. there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm just asking questions. It's going to take it easy, bro. No, not yet. So the answer is no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was no cleanup. But it does sound like Glorilla attempted to clean up on a record, though. She did. And JT wasn't good with the cleanup. So that's facts. JT in album mode. JT in tour mode. JT is in promotional mode. So it's Glorilla. Yeah, but Glow not on that. She's not. She's just not on that bullshit. Like JT been on that bullshit. J- of, I don't. I, I. I. From from the angle that I'm looking at, she has been defending herself from a lot of shit. JT has. JT has. Well, she got what's going on with Carisha and that whole disaster. Right. So that's but a, that ain't really. That ain't really her though. Like she no, I know, but I'm sure. I'm Carisha. sure. It's, it's tangentially, on, it's on, yeah. there's some shrapnel. That comes JT's way because of what her girl is involved in. The vocabulary or, is and, elite and the today. Group, wow. And the group splitting up, and then now this Glorilla shit. So now her back is against the wall. She's uh-huh. being very defensive. So mm-hmm. I, I can see her swinging. And that's okay. She's supposed to. Mm-hmm. And she got a banger with Dolce right now. She, she, she got a music. banger yeah. with Dolce. Yeah. I love she that right yeah. She do. But so she doing her thing. If she would just like leave that other bullshit alone and focus uh-huh. on that. Nah, nah, nah. You know what? No, we can't do no, that. It don't we can't work be like here. That. We can't be here for the beef. And then when somebody else beef, we'd be like, nah, they need to, they need to put that to the side. If she don't like the girl, she don't like the girl. So beef with her. So I'm with it. alone. Nah, beef. We about to, dog. We about to talk about a beef for like probably the next end of this show. That shit been happening for ten years. This shit been happening for ten days. Okay, so we'll this is the beginning it, of ten well, years. Well, 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 well uh, so uh, yeah, people are using double standards out here. Be okay. clear. Okay, you're exercising. I, I'm not. I, I'm saying if it's not if it's not important to your career, if it's not bettering your lyricist, li- your lyrical prowess, if it's not bettering your position. What they're doing is they're talking, they're yapping, they're chatting. This, that, you're saying make music. They don't, don't like I'm each like, other. Right, if you're going to do it, like, all right, do it. Beef, go ahead. I'm not going to get mad at you for doing it. But you got a single, you got a tour, you got other things going on. It, it and all you, and you just, it don't. Well, it now, do. Eddie, Eddie there, is a, there is a new, it's not even a nuance. There is a difference here. There was a physical altercation between, uh, uh, based on what I'm hearing you say, yeah, Eddie, yeah. between JT and Glorilla. Oh, that's right. So there was something Allegis. that happened outside of lyricism and music right. mm-hmm. that is causing that energy, right? It's not just who's the best competition. That's not that. Transitioning into the Cole, Kendrick, and Drake, Drake situation, yeah. this apparently to us seemed as a lyricism who's the best rapper thing. That's how I still not see to it. be confused with any of or not yeah, any of the other beefs that some of which had street elements associated with what spilled over into the music. There was no reason for us to think that Cole and Kendrick or Drake and Kendrick are going to get into some real chaotic gunplay physical shit that could be in the streets, right? There's no reason for us to think any of that. Mm -hmm. So I could see where Lowe is saying there's, we should look at what JT and Glorilla doing differently than what we're looking at between Cole and Drake in that regard. Yeah, like if they're gonna gonna battle and if they're gonna like go at each other on records, I'm fine with that. I don't, male or female, cool. Let's, let's, let's be competitive. Let's, let's talk shit to each other. But if you're gonna, if, if, if the street aspect is gonna come into it, if the, you know, talking about, oh, she went to jail for this and you grew up like that. And blah, blah. It's like, all right, now we get into a level. It's like, all right. Man, where do we, where do we draw the line, bro? Like, we all, we like it Sounds when... Sounds like when... it's clear. Some people don't really, Eddie, yo, some people don't like to uh, play with physical, real-life shit as it comes to the music. It That's makes it. people uncomfortable. If folks don't like each other, they don't like each other. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, I ain't tripping. Like, I, no, do I, I think, no, no, do no, I think, so what I'm saying is, but don't do I focus, think, I'm, I'm saying don't focus on it. Like, all right, fuck it. You don't like that person? Cool. Let it go. Like, 
Boom. Nah, don't let it go. Tweet about it. It's funny. Like, look, bro. To you. <laughs> and it's funny JT, to them. It, okay, can I, can I talk? Because you always cut me off when I do this. I'm, I'm just saying, to you, if, it's funny. It's not funny if to them. JT and Glo- JT and Glorilla ain't about to kill nobody. They're not about to stab each other. Like, they are point. two little women. Like, it's okay if they get on the internet and they're funny. You're like, it's point. cool. You're missing my Well, point. well, <clears throat> you don't know that to be true, that nothing's going to happen. Right. As some as somebody that has been around this for a long time, it's generally not the individuals. That's true. That are having the issue. It's their friends and and wannabes and mm-hmm. entourage that's trying to prove their worth to a clique that may take a moment or an the opportunity more to and escalate more, something. The more or, and more they go, or even sometimes now, it's fans. Hmm. Now yeah. we more than ever with social media and things like that, we've seen fans try to insert themselves into circumstances and we've all had to be like yo you know that artist don't really know you bro like just because they added you one time on social media they don't really know you you just got yourself arrested so <laughs> do we feel like glorilla should have just not said anything about it period because that's how this all started with her just saying really, we're not I don't really have beefing. any feeling one way or another they're gonna do what they're gonna do i i do agree with low i'd love to hear it in the music if it's gonna be but lyrical. it started yeah i guess that's the thing it started in the music it's right. not like it started on twitter Right? So maybe she should have just said nothing because that's what but, got JT so hot. It started because she was trying to say, look, it's cool. Like, let's exactly. all, let's, so it's then, good. But JT was like, why you not really, you know, you're not really telling the whole story, I guess. You know, so you apologize. You it's know. always three so sides we'll see, of the story. Listen, yeah, like, how about like, this? Why don't we just stay tuned and see how this plays out? Sounds like a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Why don't we do that? How about that? I, I, and another thing we got to stay tuned to is Cole Drake. Kendrick. The big story this week. Kendrick said what he said on Like That. Yes. Uh, Cole was the first to respond. Put out Might Delete later. On there is a verse on Pi, which is fire fire and definitely more heavy-handed in some of the lines than I believe 7-Minute Drill. But 7-Minute Drill is a full body of of, uh, uh, full body recording, full piece of work song that is directed at Kendrick. Within 48 hours of dropping said song, Cole goes on stage at Dreamville and says this at the Dreamville Festival. Me writing. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my up there right now like, nah, no, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all. I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two that i just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this shit's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive it for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. With that, we're gonna start with Nadeska. No, we're not. 
gonna, you know why we're not gonna start with me? Why? Because Lo told us last night that yeah. he was coming hot. He was texting like 500 messages last night. I had to like mute him because he was coming in hot. So let him get his shit off. Yeah, but he's and not then a I'll Cole fan at your level. He hasn't been following Cole as close as you. That's fine. We, we need to know the, the hip hop consensus, as you would like to call it. It's not a I consensus. There's, I don't know if there's a consensus. I've been thinking about this all weekend. So dramatic, right? <laughs> I've been thinking about how this should play out, yeah. and this happens. I, I, I feel like, first, first and foremost, I feel like the moment, the, <clears throat> the moment could have been different at Dreamville for Cole. If he was in that competitive nature, this should have played out a little bit differently which he's not. So I'm gonna fast forward to that, that statement. Cole knew he was not built for this, this stage. Cole knew. Hold on, <clears throat> which stage? For beefing battle, in general ba or for battle? Battle, battling. battle in battle general tested. or battle, battle with Kendrick ba no, specifically? battle tested. You're talking about period because I already period, disagree with you. Period, That's fucking false, so but then, continue. All right, okay. Well, with Kendrick, no, yes. No, no, all right, he so clearly tell, all right, no. He clearly never wanted this. So tell me why. All right, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. no name, dog. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. continue, continue. J. Cole got bullied into this. J. Cole, and you're basing that on what he said. Cause he, he's Clearly, saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He's saying he got that. bullied into this. J. Cole didn't have a strategy. J. Cole reacted off a knee jerk. It was a knee jerk reaction. J. Cole inserted himself in the big three conversation, started the big three conversation. J. Cole does not have that thing that Drake has, that Kendrick has, that Pusha has, that Nas has, that Kiss has that Hove has, and that's okay. 50. 50, the game. Cole don't have that. Cole don't want that. Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel. Doesn't LL want cool it. He doesn't like want doesn't it. Doesn't he doesn't want it is want the key. It. I don't believe that he doesn't have it, especially for the right adversary. I, I, I don't think he, he ever wanted it with Kendrick. He didn't. This is giving, damn, I was going to drop this EP before I put out the album. Here you come, first. taking shots that's at us. I now I feel like for the sport of the game, people want me to respond, so right. I'm going to do it, although I'm not sure. Right. Then mm -hmm. I put it out, I'm like, shit, this doesn't feel good. It doesn't align with me. Right. Nothing is surprising here. This is the man who sat down with Lil Pump for a fucking heart to heart after he dissed him. Like there's no chance Pump was gonna be here five years later, but J. Cole is that guy. So mm -hmm. I disagree with you that he's not ready for battle period. I just no, think he didn't I want know, it with Kendrick. I, it no, felt half assed the whole diss. He's 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 very he's one of the he's gonna be one of the greats. Like let me let me clear that up. He's, he is. He's, he's one, one of the greats one now. Of the greats. He's one of the greats right now. Yeah, he's one of the greats. But when you start talking about I'm Muhammad Ali it's big, you know, it's the big three, but I'm this and I'm that. Like, you're telling, you're poking, you're poking, you're poking, you're poking. And you can't get mad when it's as good as you, if not better, pokes back. Calls your bluff. Calls your bluff, right? So then you well, jump out. I don't, out, think, you he jump, you I don't think he got mad. Not mad. It's like, all right, my I'm gonna keep talking. All right, cool. I I'm think gonna he was respond. just like, damn, what shitty timing here. I just but wanted it, to drop my EP in well, peace. Congratulations, you played yourself. You played yeah. yourself. I it, mean, apologizing. Nah, so that's like, that's someone should have slapped ain't the hip, mic out of his that hand. That ain't hip-hop. Yeah, no, of course. That ain't hip-hop. We didn't need the apology, but I get it. I get where it comes I from. I understand where it comes from. Like, his gut, his gut is telling yeah. like, yo, bro, that's not me. That's not you. That's not, and everybody, that's not you. But don't jump out the window perceiving that it, I, when I heard it, I'm like, I mean, he, jumped, he jumped out like a first floor, floor window. I feel I'm, like, No, he jumped like, out a fucking 34th. Eh. You calling him two you, floors? You calling him in? Lo is like, oh, he's dismantling his catalog. I'm like, dog. Bro, I feel you like can't do that. I feel like he you threw can't, some like can, no, washable nah, color paint nah, at nah. his catalog. You I don't know, know if that was dismantling. Broke down four of his albums. I mean, one Cole, of those like, was like a light sleep? disc. One of those what? was a light disc. Nah, the rest, one tragic. Nah. He called. He called Mr. Morale. But I thought tragic. he meant tragic in like nah, you're talking about some serious. Don't say that. He called it tragic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He definitely called one boring. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. Like you jumping out the window, and we know this catalog is not that. What did I you mean, guys think he meant by tragic, really? Pop calling boring. Because uh, uh, right. yeah, yeah, that's been the whole... Uh, yeah, Eddie, like, yo, that, Eddie. Yeah. Right. What, do you yeah. think, what do you think Cole meant when he called the last Kendrick album tragic? He was calling it bammer. Like, he was calling it weak, bro. Like, he, and we're not even... Here's the reality, bro. That was not my full read on his use of the word tragic. What, there, I, so by what, the way. What, what would you, what would you well, take Well, I think we're, we're getting off in the weeds now. Who cares? How is that the weeds? Because he, he, he apologized, so it doesn't even matter what he said. He took it a whole shit back, yeah. and so it's, it's irrelevant. He's sorry. So what are we talking about? Well, well, we're about to let Eddie get his, get his lick in. 
I was just trying to say I felt like his home just was light. Go ahead. Let Listen, me just I told like y'all this why I wanted to go to Nadeska first. She tried to act like she had no emotions. That's what I said. I, 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 I knew. I knew. I was, I was like, it. go ahead. Listen, Hold on. Listen, I want to say something. Hold on. Let me just say something for Eddie, and this go is for ahead. all the Cole fans out there. It's very important for the Cole fans who have grown up with this guy and have written for this guy as the internet's come for him, called him names, called him boring. This He, did, he didn't work with other producers. You know, whatever the Consensus. critique has been, mm-hmm. right? It's okay. It will be okay. Bro, we're all right. Relax. Eh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> um, I feel like everybody else is more emotional about this than, like, I don't know, low sound, like, really, like, I mean, we're wound hearing up. you right now. And we're just seeing you defend. Dog, you've been trying to gas me since you were eating your fucking salad. I mean, I think today. I succeeded. Because right now, your turn. This is just me trying to comp- compete with y'all. No, y'all protect. Mad loud. You're trying to protect We're not guy. loud. Lo- no. And all right. Just, all right. Now, that's, this is what it is. This is what it is. Right? <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> Hip hop is competition. Okay, bro. Are you done? No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, I agree with you. No, he because shouldn't like, apologize. No, no, no. I agree with y'all 100%. No, she does. She does. That was, all right. There Hip-hop was no need for that. Hip hop I feel like he probably like, shouldn't no. have just, he shouldn't have dropped a diss in the first place. Y'all gaslight the fuck out of Nadeska. We're not, not gaslighting. You guys are gaslighting. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. No, we do the same thing with Drake. We do the same How? thing with Nikki. We, we do the same thing with a lot of motherfuckers. Nah, All right, nah. Eddie, Eddie, we say do what you want. Hold on, hold on. Eddie, Eddie, say, what, Eddie, say what you want to say, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so f- first and foremost, I got no dog in this race. I like all three. Okay. Same. Me too. We got, we got three rabid fan bases that any, anytime you have a reaction, they're going to be like, no, 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 and they're going to get defensive because okay. like, one is their guy. All right, all right. Right. I don't have no dog in this race. I like all three. Second okay. of all, let's rewind a little bit. Uh, Seven-minute drill was a misstep. It was a bad diss record. It was just period, point blank. You could tell he didn't want to do it. It was half-heartedly. The reality of it is, like that, wasn't a shot really at Cole. Cole caught some strays. No, it wasn't a shot. This 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 has been about Drake this whole thing. That's right. And I... This whole thing's about Drake, and I get where Cole's coming from. Cole is a hip-hop head. He's a top-tier MC. He was like, okay, cool, this is what we do. We beef. He reacted. He gave him two weeks. He put it on. He came with a whack diss song. He sat on it. I don't know how Cole's built. I don't know if he saw the reaction online or how people Clearly were. Clearly he did. Were, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't say that. Clearly he did. So I got two different emotions, and there, there's two separate emotions, but two things can be true at once. I listened to the apology like we all just did. I saw it. My first reaction, my first instinct was like, damn, you apologizing? That was my first thing. I heard it. And I'm, I'm of a similar mindset of Cole. I try to move in positivity. I try to move in, in good energy. And I don't like doing certain stuff. Like, you guys in low, uh, uh, Ebro, you guys engage with people online. And, well, the, I kind of, like, adds fuel to the fire. I don't do that. I don't argue with people online. That's not my move. So I could get why somebody would sit back and be like, you know what? I'm acting outside of myself. I shouldn't have did this. I could tell I, he was half-heartedly in it anyway. And he's just like, I'm out. I don't want to do this no more. I respect this dude. I respect that. I, that part I respect. A, as a hip hop head and someone that loves beef, because I'm a little toxic my goddamn self. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I enjoy beef, right? Mm. Part of me was like, bruh, that's weak, and you just shouldn't have did it in the first place then. Like, you just you just shouldn't have released it. And it's a misstep. And it's... it's and and but he owned, up, he, owned I, yeah, he owned up to it. He owned up to it. He owned up to it. You, accountability. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, when... So, 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 listen, so saying so all listen. that, right? I'm with so, Eddie, basically. I don't know, saying all that, right? I love this dude. I fuck with him. I respect him. This, that, and the third. Moving forward, I don't want to hear nothing from Cole about I'm better than you or them or whatever the case. I don't he want to hear, it's, it's hear it's rap. nothing. He's gonna do it's that. a rap for that. He's going to do that. I don't so know. I don't, and it's cap. Well, yeah. I, mean, I don't want to hear this point, shit. He's going to do that. He's going to do that. I don't want to hear point, shit. Listen, at this point, yes. Low is right. Cole says these things. You're just rapping for rap's sake. You don't really want to wear the crown. Because you don't want what comes with the crown. And that's okay. That's okay. And that is 1,000% okay. And I respect it. But I don't want to hear that tough guy though. shit no but more. But here's the important piece. The important piece of this, and Eddie, you alluded to it, and Nadeska alluded to who Cole is as a human being. I so The first thing I saw or thought when I saw Cole do what he did was I salute you, bro. That's humility. I, we love I it. I salute you, bro. Like, it. you owned your shit. You were outside your zone. Mm-hmm. 
and you was like, this ain't me. This ain't what I want love, from my path. I love, love that this shit. ain't what I want for myself, my career. I got pressured into it. I thought maybe I wanted this. This ain't really what I want. I and I, I, I hope it. you guys will, he says, I hope you will forgive me yep. and I can continue on my path. Love it. And to Lowe's point, fam, we fully support and like none of this is a, a measurement of your rapping skill ability. None. Mm -hmm. Song making abilities. None. Entertainment abilities None. on tour. This ain't about that. This is about a rap battle. That's it. Which you're is a not part of what this is. Yeah. The the toxicity of hip hop, just remember, is built on competitive street competition. It comes from a very toxic place. Mm -hmm. uh, we feel you, but if you're not like really, and if you don't want that, if you don't have actual bad blood with the person you're beefing with, I guess that's the thing I want to draw. Like some people then don't what? want that. They don't want that. However, but I'm saying again, like not that he doesn't want beef with everybody. Like if somebody else came out and disrespected no, 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 him, he doesn't even want competitive beef. He don't because this wasn't real beef. This was rap battle. He doesn't even want to battle. He doesn't want to say mean things about someone he cares about, even jokingly. I know, he that's doesn't the thing, wanna... that he cares, I, I guess, yeah. No, he doesn't want that, and that's fine. Like, there's, that's okay. We're not blaming now, him for that. But now, as when we're, when we're doing this rap battle talk, mm -hmm. when we're doing this part of the rap game, mm -hmm. we're going to sit you over here, <laughs> okay? With Big Sean. Positive no, energy, I, I, read I some good even, books. Nah, yeah, I even. Big Sean don't engage. No, nah, I'm saying Big, mentally, I feel like Cole and Sean are on the same I, level. And by the way, I, on like their saying, moving and positivity we're gonna, shit. It's okay. We're going to do this here, over here. Yeah, and over then there. we're going to go back over here. And get messy. And let, let's, which brings let's me to my dirty. next point, that all this energy that you had in the chat last night, I'm like deep down in your soul, you know it's Drake you're really mad at. Bro, where the fuck are you? I okay, so I don't even no, want to see what Cole and Kendrick like. Wait, hold on, hold on. We so, going a bunch of different no, 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 places. Can no, I finish? Sorry, can right. I finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody no, had no, their no, time. No. I didn't no. even have my time. You just had your time. I wasn't even done. Okay, I'm fine. I sat back patient How for everybody. How long is your time, bro? Right, he, he did yeah, Everybody's so emotional. For people that don't care and are not emotionally involved, it's a lot of emotion, bro. No, we do care. I give a fuck about this shit. This is fun. This is what we need. Yeah, see, Eddie, I, this can't, is what we I need. can't raise my voice without it no, me being can. emotional. But everybody else can I'm do not, it and I haven't scream called you and yell and shit. I, haven't called you I wish you would have said, I'm emotional. I want to get my shit off today. I said that. No, not you. We talking okay. about. I, I, to, so, that, that's to, why she, she should have went She said she didn't care. Are and I knew care? she did. Whoa, whoa. You made it sound like I was like emotional, like crying myself to no, sleep last night. No, stop it. Stop it. No, we don't no never. Yeah. We all never. care. We, we care. We, we love this shit. We this care. This is just rap. This is just hip hop. This is just we rap. We care. This is just rap and this is just hip hop. And it, it, which has its own place. All I wanted to finish by saying was, there's a crown in this game that many have aspired to put on their head and say, I'm the king of this shit. Ain't nobody better than me. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be that. Correct. I believe Kendrick said that in 2013 on Control, mm -hmm. which is kind of the, 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 the precursor, the catalyst for even us getting yeah. here. Yeah. The that, that's the root that's of this. That's the root of this. this. The root People of this. got in their feelings about it. Big Sean was mad because he, uh, whatever, uh, Drake got in his feelings. And as Jay Electronica could like beef with him, he was on the tra track too. Jay Elect, whoever. Cole has been saying in multiple forms and ways that he's the GOAT and he's the Muhammad Ali and he's the greatest, whatever, whatever. It's been happening. The opportunity came for you to prove that you didn't want to do it the way it's being done. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Boom. So we set that aside. We move forward. Now we have to analyze this because. Drake, in many different occasions, make whatever critique you want of Drake. I don't believe that Drake has ever wanted any of the battles that came his yeah, way. Yeah, but the disrespect was so crazy. Did he, he have a choice? That he stood on it, though. This was like fake disrespect from Kendrick. No, but but no, they didn't. I'm not even Kendrick comparing. Like the way, I'm not, the I'm way not comparing. Meek, the way Meek came at him I'm not versus comparing. these strays at Cole. I'm, I'm not comparing. Okay, sorry, continue. I'm not comparing. I'm cutting you off all damn being emotional. All I'm saying is... Go ahead. All I'm saying is, is we have to give kudos and respect where respect is due. Drake has risen to the occasion, yes. and now our expectation is he'll do it again. Right. 
Right. Because we've seen it done. Because we've seen it done. That's all I wanted to say. I'm happy this is playing out the way it's playing out. You know why? Because I think it's important for people to hip hop in hip hop to see someone at Cole's level not try to be someone he's not. Mm-hmm. Right. I think that's very important in hip hop as we move throughout history for somebody to go, yo, this dude was respected yep. and he did well and yep. he had success. Yep. And when the time came for the and the culture was saying you got to do X, Y, Z, he went. That ain't who I am. I'm not spiritually aligned. Respect and I think it. that is, I think that should be shown a lot of love because we know people, many artists in this game who became someone they weren't mm -hmm. in this rap shit and it, 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 it ate them up from the inside mm -hmm. and they didn't love themselves anymore and we watched them deteriorate and Cole was like, nah, bro. I'm going to protect my shit. I'm going to protect myself. And I hope that y'all still show me love. Cole said that was him ten, 10 years earlier. Like, he literally said that's who he was. And he had to do some self-assessing and was like, nah, that's that's not who I want to be. And, and we got to show that, that respect. No, no, no. That that That's a bookmark. That That's that that's a big but thing. But the question was, oh my God. is you like that? And clearly, you're not. You know, you know how I look at it, right? I'm a LeBron James stan, right? I would defend LeBron James, but I'm, I'm a realist too. And that one series he had against the Dallas Mavericks when JJ uh, uh, Abrea, whatever, was locking him up, yeah, it's just a that's a that's a knock on his legacy. It's a knock. I don't care. I love LeBron. I always look at that Dallas series as like ah, that one you you kind of didn't show up for that one. This is what this is Cole's legacy. Or, you didn't or, show up or for this Kevin one. Durant and James Harden and Kyrie getting bounced. Y'all supposed to be, and y'all got locked down. It's it's a knock, and it's always going to be a knock. Like, when we look back 20 years, he's going to be a GOAT. But at this moment, like, and for a whole completely different reason, Pusha T has, like, a, a little bit more cred in hip-hop, and he was he was credited up. Like, we love Pusha T. But for him, he's not even in the echelon of Drake. And for him to knock down Drake, it brought him up a few levels. So yeah, in that same Pusha's way. a warlord. <laughs> No, no, he is a warlord. No, Pusha oh, is psychotic. He doesn't want the crown. He doesn't want a kingdom. Pusha he just wants death and destruction <laughs> at all and costs. Chaos. Pusha is psychotic. There are different. There are different mindsets when you come to this hip hop battle and shit. When you come to battling with your peers, there are n that are geniuses. There are n that are strategic, and then there are n that are psychotic. Fifty psychotic. Pusha. Psychotic. Ooh, are we comparing fifty? Kendrick, and Pusha? I psychotic. Them in the same I'm just. I'm talking bracket. about strategy, and I'm talking about the relentless. Precision, they won't give up. Yeah. I'm they just talking about the relentless, they like how they how relentless they, they won't are. Give up. Those those guys' mindset when it comes to this back and forth, psychotic. Cole looked at that landscape and said, "Nah." I ain't doing that. I'm going to wear my Crocs and chill, baby. Yeah. I'm not doing <laughs> that. It. I'm going to wear my sweats. I'm going to ride my, my, ra I'm my, ride my bike through Queens. And I'm cool I'm now, not, I'm not doing this shit online. I'm, I'm chilling, not, bro. Bro, I'm not doing that. And that's okay. And we love Cole for acknowledging that in wow, front you, of his you, own. Is this the same man that was in a group chat last night? I know, that's okay. I know, we no, love it. The I, energy no, no, was I look way at, when I look, different no, when before I look the cameras started rolling. When I look at how this, when I look at how this played out, Wow. He bro. played himself. He played himself. He played himself. He played himself. He played himself. You knew you didn't he want to go himself. to war with this man. But no, you he knew didn't know. you didn't. No, he, he didn't know. That's the problem. No, he, he did didn't. know. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. How did he? He, yes, he, he, did. Did. he, he got would bullied that. into doing this bullshit. No, but that's so he didn't know. He, he wasn't did know. Being true yes, he to did know. He did no, he know. Could, how can you? Say this was half ass. Right, but so it was half ass. Right, but we heard it. We like. No, you're not thinking logically. Neither if was he, he. No, no, no. Exactly my point. So he That's didn't know. That's my point. He did know. No, he didn't. He got pushed into this shit. He got bullied into this shit. A if he this knew. This big three shit been going yo, on fam, for 10 years, I'm going to say man. it like this. If he knew. Right. Okay. And he didn't approach the seven minute drill record. Because he could have approached that record completely different. He could have 1000% in the recording saying, yo. Give this us the, ain't the what speech I we got on stage. This isn't who I am right now. Mm -hmm. This ain't what I want. I know this is what the culture wants. I know the world want to see blood, but this ain't what I want, my brother. He could have did that in the recording. He didn't do it in the recording. It was like that had only been out for a week, y'all. Mm -hmm. And it, so within the week, he recorded Seven Minute Drill. Mm -hmm. Put it out, and within 36, 48 hours, whatever it was, said this ain't. So he wasn't aware of himself in that way. 
I mean, he, he literally said he half-assed it, bro. He said he went in there with T-minus. It's like a seven-minute drill. It's like a, 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 lyrical, a lyrical exercise they do. Yeah. T-minus gave him a word. And he, it's like he came in with the whole concept of a disc record half-assing it. He half-assed the whole thing, bro. Which the beats, he could, the beats because weak. he wouldn't have went in he want, if he, he didn't he want ha- it. He didn't want to do it. Yeah. He came in half-assing it. Don't he didn't, didn't want to do it. I don't believe that. I believe he wanted to. And then, like, if he, he said wanted in the to, audio, if he wanted to, no, it would have been way audio, different. It would have been way in different. In the audio, he said, and then when I hear it back. So you didn't listen to it back when you fucking left the studio? You just said, yo, send it out? No, he thought nah, he, he listened wanted to it. it. We know he listened to it. No, he thought he wanted to smoke, and he realized, he do I shit. don't want this. I don't, like you said, I don't want the internet shit. Mm. I don't want to beef with somebody I love. I don't want to fucking, like he said in the song, I don't want to beef just for promo. I don't want that. And I realized that after I saw the response and after I re-listened to the recording, centered myself. It happens all the time. What do, you do think his, time. what do you think his emotions were when he left the studio after he recorded that? What do, do you think he was proud of that? Do you think he was like, like, yeah, that makes sense. Do you think he said, yeah, I'm going to get my shit off? Do you think he said this I is what... I, I would think you, at Cole's level... You really level, thought that he walked out that shit and said, yeah, I this is it? I would think at Cole's level, if he didn't feel like he liked it and he didn't feel like he wanted to do it, hell, he don't want to give us the fall off. He ain't gave it to us. There's been many times Cole hasn't want to done, do Bro, something he spends and a he whole doesn't project do it. talking about that. Like, if it wasn't for my team, I would never hear this shit. I would hold them. It's like he tells us who he is again mm-hmm. on this whole project and then slides a diss track in at the last track. He didn't even... Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I think I'm with Ebro on this one. Like, mm-hmm. it made sense to him in the moment, especially for the sport mm-hmm. of being a rapper, that he wanted to respond. Mm-hmm. And then he dropped in and was like, oh, fuck, this is not what I wanted. I've made mistakes like that. Have you? Yeah. Are you human? This shit happens. Oh, no, no, no. This I, is just I, on I, a I, much larger I, I, scale, I, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wish he would have got his shit off on his mistake. Like, if you're going to make a mistake, don't. it was, it was a weak-ass diss. I wish he just would have came in with some heat and been like, damn, you went a little too far, my boy. I, I, <laughs> just, wanna, I just want to encourage, though, anyone watching this moment in hip-hop history to remind you that if you're going to make claims, you will have to back them you up. You have to live up to that shit. That's all. That's the, that's the moral that, of the story. That's, that's literally If it. you're going to make claims, somebody's going to pull your card. Be prepared. That's it. Here's the good news. Now Aubrey got to stand on business. It's just you, Drake. Now let me Come ask on. you this. No, no, let me ask you this. <laughs> Seven minute drill comes out. Okay, I'm not sure. Obviously, we don't know if Cole and Drake had a convo before the drop. Clearly, and going backwards now, assuming Cole hasn't copped a plea on stage, Drake is like, oh, okay, Cole picking sides. 36 hours later, Drake's like, whoa, 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 wait. I thought we was, oh, fuck. I thought I, thought I had a squad. Man, you know what the funny thing about this? That did not catch him by you, surprise. He's you know known the funny Cole thing about long this enough is? to know. His heart was in that. Drake is getting jumped, y'all. Like, Drake, everybody's coming to Drake. Drake has nobody in this battle right now, bro. And it it's just Drake red. standing alone with the whole, like, rap industry coming for that boy. But that's because he's on, he's on the throne. He's battle-tested. He's got the charts. He's got the tours. He's got the only thing that the, the culture says he doesn't have is the classic album. Yeah. But he's got everything else. He's got everything. And has made hits making other genres of music. Mm-hmm. So he's literally done it all. So if you're going to go at someone, he's the guy to go at. You know what I'm saying? And clearly, or not, I mean, it's clear to me, but everybody else is on the internet saying it's not clear. The problems that Future has with him and the problems that Kendrick has had with him since the Control verse. Metro has with him. Rick Ross has with him. Nav has with him. I'm confused if Travis Scott is in this now. I'm, I'm not Didn't sure what's Travis going on with Scott this. Didn't Travis Scott caught a on this Cole EP? That was surprising but, yeah, to me, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, the, the, okay. it's just him. It's just Drake. Well, it's that's be the him other and- thing about the Cole apology that is, let me call it peculiar, is, <laughs> is on other records on the project, you take swipes at individuals. Right. Why do you have to make deep eye contact with me? No, I, I looked at him first, okay. and, and I was like, you, like, it wasn't, yo, no. hey, yo. I mean, listen, <laughs> just because you're the biggest Cole fan here, I know it's a tough day for y'all. Tough I've day. I've talked to other Cole fans. Man, it's a I'm tough time fine. in hip-hop bro, history. Bro, if you've been a Cole fan for at least a decade, what's this? Nothing. This like, I'm We're a Cole cool, fan. I'm still a, I'm still a Cole Nothing fan. Nothing has no, no, no. changed. We're all Cole fans. <laughs> it's not that fucking deep. All right, he apologized. 
He's still going to be one of the greatest rappers to go down in history. He's still going to be one of the biggest, you know, blog ever but rappers. But he it's better fine. not ever. It never, ever <laughs> say the fucking words, I'm the greatest, fuck you. No, it's over. We have packed that up okay. and we have sat it over All here. Right, Lo, you cannot relax, compete. Bro. What are you, you going to do? Listen call to the fall no, up on I'm so, no. he can do whatever he I'm going to listen to the fall up. What are you talking about? Stop twitching your feet. Yo, when your peers going back and forth at it, when Drake and Kendrick start doing their shit, or Wale and Big Sean this? start doing their shit, and whatever the case is, you sit your ass over there at the children's table. Are you done? Because Cole, you, you do exactly didn't what want, you want, Because bro. you did not want to Yo, compete. Yo, save all this you energy didn't for Drake. You didn't want to, all this you hatred, didn't want to wear all this like, passion is for Drake. Like Ebro said, you didn't want to wear the crown. It's heavy. They say it's heavy. <laughs> They say it's heavy. They want to win a crown, and this is no slight or disrespect they to Jermaine. It's, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of because that man it's came hat in hand and said, "Yo, I'm it's, not it's like a tiny that." Talking about a disrespect. It's There's a no disrespect. disrespect. He said, "I'm not like that." That's rap life review, okay. man. As you can see, <laughs> the hip hop world is in uh, an emotional disarray as we try to every time reconcile. You, every, every time you Lo say emo- mad every emotional. time you say emotional, she's like. Lowe is mad emotional. Reconcile this moment in hip hop history because we've never seen it before. Not this way. That's another thing I think we got to put a pin in this. We've never seen because mm. yeah. Jay apologized for Super Ugly. Yep. Years later, though. It was years later, but yeah. nonetheless, it happened. Yeah. Um, to this day, you're not going to see Nas performing Ether. Not at he all. He doesn't want that energy. Right. Um, but we've never seen it this way where someone literally. Hours later, it was like, nah. I like, my fault. Up, time my fault. My fault, my fault. Yo, I love Cole. Yo, I'm not going to lie. We love, yo, we love <laughs> yo, you for so... having that humility. But we like, oh my God. when I saw that shit, I'm like. Man, he's an empath. Oh my, my we f- hope too much, you know what I mean? Like, we just we just want peace in the world. It's hard for us. Drake, <laughs> yo, listen, Drake. You up next. You got to get this shit done. What's good? Nadeska here. If you made it through that entire episode of The Rap Life Review, that means you're really a fan. Hit that like button so we know it's real. Subscribe if you never want to miss an episode. And of course, if you really have something to say, drop a comment and we'll hit you back on next week's episode.